Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information is listed in the description box. We will pull oracles at the end, give you some more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Cancer, quite literally, your first card out this week, Major Arcana, The Fool. All about jumping right in. Seven of uh, Pentacles is your second card out. We have here the Six of Cups. We have here the Nine of Cups, yeah. Jumping right into something that is um, probably going to make you very happy, but there is maybe a sense of nervousness a little bit, but definitely someone's jumping right in here. This could be present energy. This could be past energy. This could be happening in your future. Time is elusive. What else do we have for Cancer, please? Some sort of wish fulfillment, though. Some sort of desire, some sort of ideal situation here with the Nine of Cups. This is what we are contemplating, jumping into, jumping towards, taking a chance on. Seven of Pentacles is all about sort of, uh, you know, reviewing, like, should I do this? Because I kind of want to. Judgment, yeah. Very much about making a decision here, your second major arcana. Decision time, Cancer. This could be you or someone that you are connected to energetically, friend, family member, lover. It's going to be different for you all, but definitely someone you have a very close connection with. <clears throat> with the Six of Cups, that is very much a soulmate card. That is also um, a kindred spirit, a pure a pure love connection between you and someone. doesn't have to be romantic. could also be um, debating whether or not you want to do something that you've always wanted to do from childhood. It's like dream job, dream um, location. It looks like you are going to have an opportunity to... Go for it. You have two sevens here. Seven of Swords is your final card out with the Seven of Pentacles. Definitely something to do with um, luck and fate and destiny. Heavy emphasis on luck. The Seven of Swords, um, I do get it's a sense of strategy. Someone maybe feels like they need to have a sense of strategy. They can't just leap into things. But either way, a decision has to be made. Whether you go into it with a strategy, you just fall right into it. Decision needs to be decision needs to be made here. Four of Wands was at your bottom of the deck. Yeah, Nine of Wands. So definitely someone's a little bit afraid to make whatever decision this is. Could be pertaining to some sort of relationship. Some of you, it is moving to maybe another country, a different area. Something you've definitely not, haven't, you know, always wanted to do, I'm getting. But maybe you never thought you'd have the opportunity to do it. Looks like you're going to get that opportunity. Some of you, this is some sort of childhood dream that you have the opportunity to sort of um, experience. Also, for some of you, this is a connection that you have with someone that you have had with someone you have been sort of building, cultivating, putting time in with the Seven of Pentacles. And there is some sort of decision point coming up here. Whether you know this person is making a decision in their head or not, I don't think um, if you're dealing with another person, either if you're making a decision or they are. It's like they're, there's not a, there's not a showing of this happening or someone wants to do it strategically. They don't want to just jump in, which is kind of what I feel like they're being led to do something to do with moving, maybe moving in together, some sort of um, leveling up, some sort of um, stability, creating some sort of stability here. And we have the Nine of Wands, as I said. So this is um, someone that doesn't want to give up, but someone that's also been through a lot. This is why there's such a hesitation. This is why a sense of strategy is um, being wanted. Because maybe in the past, you know, they did jump into things. Thinking it was going to be, the, you know, the best or the, or, the, or the whatever. And it didn't end up being that way. So now there's a lot more caution. Nine of Wands is definitely a sense of caution. With that Seven of Swords, strategic. So it's like if someone used to just jump into things, that's not what they did this time. This time they took their time. But even with the taking of time, there's still now a decision to make because now it's time to sort of um, further further deepen things. You have the high priest at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, Cancer energy. Uh, yeah, very, I would, I definitely am getting a sense of not uh, secretive, but not in a bad way. This is just like, you don't know this person's thinking this deeply into this. The letter B and J could also be important to you, but this is a sense of silence, a sense of secrecy. Not for long though. I think once this person comes to some sort of conclusion within themselves, you'll be able to know. Three of Cups here. Celebration. 
happy news, good time. Five of Cups, I am getting that as a fear of missing out. Someone doesn't want to allow whatever sort of uh, hardships they've had in the past to stop them from an opportunity that is very clearly highly potential. You know, highly potential, especially if I think you're most likely showing up as this high priestess. You could also be having some sort of intuitive feeling that this person is sort of, you know, going through something in their head in, in, in connection to you. But if you're thinking it's negative, it's not. I think this person's kind of like, I think now is the time. Now is the time. How do I go about this? Creating a plan or a strategy. We have also, oh, look, <laughs> king and queen of wands. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, could have fire in your chart. But this is definitely, if this is romantic, this is absolutely someone that is a match for you. You both are kind of cut from the same cloth. Very ambitious, very attractive people, very charismatic, uh, creative people, very intuitive people as well. Go-getters. Very much a, um, a true pair here. So I think that's why someone also doesn't want to miss out on that opportunity. Because it's kind of clear, I think, to the both of you. Six of Cups. What's underneath this Queen of Wands? The Empress, yeah. It's very clear that you're worthy of that, yeah, Two of Cups. Very clear that you're worthy of the commitment. Regardless of their fear, whatever, regardless of whatever experience that uh, they've had in the past, there's no doubt that you are worth the taking the step for. You also now have two twos, which is all about partnership. What's underneath here? King of Cups is a lot of love. Cancer Spicy Scorpio could be dealing with another water sign. Yeah, someone is going towards what their heart desires. Choosing love. Choosing to go for it. That's why the uh, Fool card was your first card out. Strongest energy. Someone's choosing to go for it. This could also be you. Choosing to go for an opportunity that is so very clearly um, promising. The only thing that's sort of um, a red flag is, is uh, the fear that you're having or this person's having. It's not even a red flag. It's just that's the blockage. The blockage is not the connection at all. The blockage is kind of defeating our own demons in order to sort of have what it is that we, we've we always wanted, but maybe never experienced. So it's a hard paradigm to, to wrap your mind around when you're when you're addicted to, um, you know, not getting what you want or you're used to shit going sideways. When shit starts actually going straight, it's a, it's a mind, it's a mind boggle. You think it wouldn't be, but it is because your whole nervous system kind of has to reprogram to positivity and, and potential and all these things that you have been, um, you know, so far from pers perspective wise. Guidance for cancer, please, if this is a romantic connection. But I think intuitively, you know, this is a very good opportunity. This is something you don't want to, you know, or you're getting intuitively that this could be someone that um, things could be serious with. And if this is a house, if this is a move, it's saying you, your intuition saying go for it. You're just so cautious of making, um, you're afraid of making the wrong decision, but you also have a fear of missing out. All right. So guidance, please, for cancer. Nothing from this deck. There we go. Thank you. Finances and career or financial issues are a factor in your love life. That could also be that too. Someone would do it in a heartbeat, but they are um ca being cautious they're being strategic because they want to make sure that financially they can maintain so if this is a connection with someone it's not that this person doesn't want to marry you because it definitely seems like commitment is wanted but they got to make sure that their shits their ducks are in a row so before they can have any sort of conversation with you the ducks need to be in a row and if this is a move it's the same thing yeah you have an opportunity to do what you've always wanted to do but can you afford it how can you afford it making sure you can afford it right creating that plan creating that strategy in order to not only have what you want but to keep what you want that's two different things that's a whole other story getting what you want is one thing but being able to keep it is the true key and i think this person is um you know they're wise enough to know it's not just about getting what you want it's about being able to keep it guidance please for cancer but it looks like you and this person are very much on the same page Consider, reconsider. Mm -hmm. Ask your angels. No need to worry. Improving health. So this could definitely be someone that thought, you know, they would live their whole life in one particular area or they would never be in a relationship again. Clearly that, that, that whole mindset is kind of being 
that's also could be what's going on here. That whole mindset, whatever sort of mindset has been created from past negative experiences, that could also be what the Five of Cups is about. Being focused on the shit that didn't work instead of being focused on what you got right in front of you, which is behind you because you're focused elsewhere, right? The focus needs to change. Because that Two of Cups, we saw it in the, in the bottom of the pile, right? We have here Horse Spirit, Freedom is yours, number 33. Definitely a sense of mastery, kind of mastering the self. Being able to, you know, trust self again. Learning the, the 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 lesson of discernment, when to give, when to take, when to stay, when to leave. Invol invoking self-realization, yeah, very much what I was just saying. Each breath confirms how awake I already am and sharing shame. Sharing shame. When I share my deepest pain, I give myself permission to be, yeah. Very much healing old wounds here. Someone's been through a lot when it comes to connections and relationships. Obviously, we've all been through it, but this is like the other side of the of the tunnel. The light at the end of the tunnel. It's like you've been in the dark for so long. When you see that light, it's a bit bright. You gotta readjust to the brightness, right? Very much giving re the, the adjusting to the brightness phase. And trusting that you're not gonna be in the dark. Or even if you are in the dark, just there'll, there'll always be sunshine. Let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you. I mean, that about sums it up. That's um, Scorpio energy as well. That's all about birth, rebirth, death and rebirth, transformation. Taking one thing and uh, turning it into another. Mm -hmm. This is things finally going, uh, you know, your way and needing to adjust to that. Or this is someone that you're connected to. Have faith in your dreams. I told you, some of you, it's definitely some sort of childhood thing that you've always wanted to do. And now you're going to be able to have the opportunity to do it. But you are being strategic. You're making sure that you can not only, um, as I said, get it, but maintain it. You're not dumb anymore. You know, but I think you're going to do it. Or if this is someone you're connected to, they're going to do it. Three of Cups is all about celebrating uh, the, in the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. I was just saying, look at this. I swear, I just got chills. Didn't I just say to, to the cave metaphor? Because it's very much the vibe I'm getting. Been in the dark for a very long time or it felt like darkness. Right, but now that's coming to an end. And it's funny because this pyramid is here. But this is like the light at the end of the tunnel. And this is share your voice, come out of the cave, prosecution, expression. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. That is your reading, Cancer. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.